Well, that was a loud way to start the street. I did not realize there was a thunderstorm going on. Alright, that should get rid of that and save our eardrums for the time being. Welcome to the Citadel, folks. My name is Joel Duggan, and this is a survival Let's Play server where I do some geeky stuff in Minecraft with my friends and get shot by skeletons from behind that I didn't see or hear. Take care of this right away. Come on. Where was your leather armor when we needed it in the other playthrough? I saw a creeper behind me, too. Oh, another one. That thunderstorm brought out all the bad guys. I missed. Where'd you go? Take care of all of that. I don't think there's anybody else. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, this is the medieval area on the Citadel server. And uh, we have been working here for several months. And uh, yesterday we worked a little bit on one of these towers by the river. Uh, this one there, actually, uh, in the background. And, and that's looking pretty good. But the other thing that we started but didn't quite get, um, well, we didn't get anywhere near finished, is we started digging out some storage down here. Because we have a farm that we're using, but we've quickly outgrown what the farm can hold. It's also not convenient because it's, it's way far away. So we have this basement stair inside the keep. And I thought it would be a good idea to, um, one, light it up. And then two, um, have some storage down here. I'm not convinced I like the staircase. We might want to have it do something else. Um, but, uh, oh, I need to go turn on the beacon because I think we're going to have to lower the floor. I don't think we're quite to the level where we need to be. What I want to do today is design the storage system. And I don't, I've done this a couple of times on the server. So I don't want to just copy a storage system I've done before. I want to try to come up with something new. And I know you can use honey blocks to align objects, so I'm going to try to do that. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, Rosid is nice to see you. And we've got Royalty Crown here, Cosmic Dancer in True Purple kicking around. And uh, also, thanks for the raid, J.H. Reimer. Appreciate that. Now, one of these blocks leads to... There it is. on the beacon we can probably just drop down here yep cool that'll give us our haste beacon back so right away i want to see what we can do about uh sorting out the storage we're gonna need we're gonna have to build some stuff for starters uh hoppers i don't know what blocks i'm gonna put it on yet so i'm just gonna use Let's say stone. Let's use something that's easy to see, like diorite, for now. We might not keep it as diorite, but we'll figure that out. Okay. So, uh, storage down here. It may not be in this particular area, but this is a nice open spot to, uh, to work on it. So, as with any storage system, you're going to need some chests, which we will use from here. And I want to use a shulker box, as an example. So, what I'd like to do is have a shulker at the bottom. Need more room than that. Where's a good spot to do this? Maybe over here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it here. So I'd like to have like a, a shulker at the bottom. And we'd have a chest. And I don't know if I want to do chests, double chests, or barrels. I mean, we're going to save space by using double chests, obviously. Hey, the mighty Elkhorn is here. And Jumbo Sale has subscribed at a tier one. Four months in a row. Thanks so much, Jumbo Sale. Zodic Numbing, good to see you. Welcome in. And uh, Bladed Livewire, good to see you as well. So normally with these sorting systems, you've got um, at least 
The, I don't think I want to do more than three chests because I don't want to have to like reach up to the sky to get these things. I also don't like the idea of if I take something from this chest, then this chest doesn't fill it up. So I think one of the things we might try to do is put in some hoppers inside of here. So maybe have like a big top chest. I know it's less storage. But I feel like we could probably get away with stuff this way. So technically this could still be big like that. It adds some depth to it, but I like the end result better. And uh, maybe we just do two chests in a shulker? Because the shulker could be in the floor. That's the other thing. Like this could be the floor level. A shulker stalker? Yeah, I got the idea from Etho, and Etho is, is much more complicated, but this is just like, you know, if, if, if it's just dirt or just grass or whatever, you can just put in the empty shulker and take the new one. You know, that's the idea. And then the other thing we'll do is obviously just like a typical, a typical um, sorting system. But man, yeah, this is going to, with this kind of a, a system, it's going to make things from the wall be really tricky because we have to do comparator no the comparator would be higher as there would have to be scaffolding there would have to be another uh empty uh what am i looking for hopper so we'd have to have Oops. There's the filter hopper. And then we would have honey blocks. We'll get some honey blocks. Got them here somewhere, I think. Mm -hmm. There we go. I knew I brought them. I don't know why they're in a gray. Makes sense. But I don't have a lot. We'd have enough to do the storage. I can always ask Alistair if I can get some. Too. So the way that we would do this is it would be do you need a special tool for these? No. So there would be a water stream over the hoppers and honey blocks along the back would line up the objects because the honey block has got it's like a smaller hitbox. So the object would actually travel along this edge and get picked up by the hopper. And then this hopper would need to have all of the comparator stuff on it. No, that's not going to work. I might have to go look at my storage system in the, in the modern city. 1,000 bits for the incoming redstone stream. Thank you very much, Cosmic. Wow. Really appreciate that. 1,000 bits. My goodness. Rice Kelly and Soda, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. The sorting level needs to be above that top chest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you have to have like a... I call it like a dead hopper. It has to be kind of like... It's always pointing into something mundane, like a like nothing class block um but then we would have the cool thing is like i was thinking i don't want this to be just an ugly storage system and i like the honey blocks and i thought we could decorate it like it was a brewing basement like the keep was maybe the people in the keep were maybe making honey mead or beer or something in the basement i thought that would be kind of cool and then we could have like 
decorate the storage system with a little bit of yellow, you know, some, some golden colors, maybe use some gold blocks or something. It'd be kind of cool to do that. Um, but yeah, and then I think I like this setup. What we could do here, especially because if there's going to be more of these nearby, right? Like if this is tiled along like this, then we could hide these hoppers with trapdoors. Which I don't think I have any of. I didn't bring any wood stuff, but but essentially we could put like trapdoors over these to make them look a little bit better. Or alternatively, we could have instead of chests, we could use barrels if we only wanted this to have half the capacity. But I got a funny feeling that I'm gonna need three double chests of things. Um because I don't want the storage room to be like just massive, massive. I like this look. Um, especially if you're like on the floor level, right? You can still see everything here. I like seeing stuff move around in storage systems. Cause then we could use like a yellow glass or something along here. Cause then the water would be going down this way. So like the stone represents the water and then we would have glass or something here uh, and that means that how do you do the comparator then I'm gonna have to go refresh my mind on this I know I know what it looks like I know like you do like this kind of a thing Right, because it's like porch goes there, repeater goes here. I don't have any dust. You've got a uh, comparator. Two dust. Right? And then the hopper, that's your filter hopper, and it goes there. And then that locks that hopper. So we've got one, two, three. I'd like to leave five just so that we have room to actually move around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, in addition to the hopper. So yeah, we just don't have the room here. We'd have to move everything forward. That's fine. Uh, that doesn't leave a lot of room between here and the stairwell. So I think we might have to move that. I don't think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then over here we have a lot more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. So I feel like we're probably going to have most of the storage either along this wall or along this wall. We've got a lot of room here, right? Like there's lots of room to play with here. I do feel like it would be cool to have some sort of moat thing here, but I don't know yet. Um, no, it's not necessarily for filling up shulkers. Like you, you can still grab from the chest. I just like the idea of having the option. So might as well build it in. We do that in the modern city and we'll go take a look at the modern city um, before I start to build this. We'll go look at the modern city storage system to refresh our memory and see what it's like um, and see if there's any changes or anything we've missed here. What I didn't do in the modern city was this snake thing, uh, which adds an extra block, but I, I think I like it better. It just it adds a little bit of extra you know, room to it. Yeah, I think we're probably going to end up putting the storage system along this wall. Uh, that way, 
we'll have to re-engineer the staircase to bring us down to a point where it's easy to put something in an input or we could have an input like you know somewhere around here but i feel like the input is probably going to need to be weirdly left to right i think we have to input here and have it all sort out down this way so we're probably going to have like you know dirt and grass and stone and all that kind of stuff all down through here then we can turn the corner if we need to uh, and then maybe on this side, we could just have like manual storage of like just fancy blocks, you know, stuff that we don't have a lot of, but need for building. That could be kind of cool there. I feel like that makes the most sense because we're probably going to be coming in and out of like a secret door here a lot, as well as using the keep. That probably makes the most sense. Okay, well, let's go for a walk. Let's go to my um, my storage system in the modern city. And uh, actually, while we're down there, we'll, we'll quickly repair the pickaxe too. The lights are doing. No, we're fine. It's just a pick. Yeah, you'll see over here at the, uh, the farm. The player storage here is is pretty much overflowing. Like we've got, it's not full full on the wood side, but in terms of space, we're keeping things organized. We've got a couple of junk chests, but then like our dirt and our grass are really at capacity. We've got a couple of little things. I'd rather use this entire room for farm stuff, right? Like I'd rather store all kinds of things for people to build farms with in here. And then have um, the building blocks be at the at the town, the town over there. This is looking really cool now that we've got the wall up. Like when you're far away from it, you can you can start to see all kinds of stuff it's really really come together. All right, let's just fly over here. I'll walk some of the path, not all of it. We're gonna walk to the modern city. That's a heck of a walk. Yes. Well, we will take the uh, we'll take the portal. Kind of new to the whole PC Minecraft. Does anyone have a medieval texture pack that works well with DSL shaders? If so, could you point me uh, to it on the Discord? Uh, I would look at Whip, F W H I P, or Jermsey Boy. And uh, if you can't find what you want from those folks online, uh, you can their their YouTube channels. They usually have downloads. Um, Jermsey Boy might have his on his Patreon, I don't know. Um, but Whip, I think, has his available. Uh, the other thing is, um, check with Soul Daisy Gimp in our Discord. He would also be a good resource for that, because I know he's messed around with a bunch of different medieval packs, and he's got one that he uses, I think, that kind of, like, pulls everything down to, like, vanilla, but, but still has the medieval things that he likes in it. And he's a really good builder. Uh, he's on the Infinity Cove server, uh, my Patreon server, so you can always... See if he's around in the Discord. That's a good resource. But yeah, the, the medieval packs that I've messed with um, that I like have been usually uh, either Jermsey Boy or, or Whip. Um, only because I find other medieval packs that have been made out there, they go too far. And it, it feels like you're just playing a completely different game. It doesn't feel like Minecraft at all. Uh, I need to go to the swamp. It's this way. No, Swamp Modern City. Right, so where do I want to gold farm? That's what I was doing. I was like, why am I in here if I'm going to the modern city? Just to force a habit. No, I need to repair my pickaxe. That's what I need. This won't take long. Yeah, that's a good idea, uh, Travis. Good idea. You'll find that there's lots of friendly people and lots of resources.
Like my texture pack, we've got dark um, nether bricks rather than the wine colored. I just, I like them so much better. Thank you, Cosmic. It's more like gliding. I don't think I even used a rocket. We should probably take some gold while we're here. People keep on leaving it behind. This is going to be loud, but I'm not going to bother to turn it down because I'm only going to be here long enough to repair the pickaxe. Whoa, no. I want that back. Yeah, this is the only thing we have to fix. the audio is ducked with the stream, but it's so loud to me that I almost feel like I can't talk over it, you know? It's weird. That was intense. Done. Only cost one snowball. I'll just leave whatever whatever gold is coming for whoever's next. Not worry about it. We will, however, put our gold away. That did not take very long at all. I think you're muted. I can't hear you. Uh, I don't think that's the case. Everybody else seems to be able to hear me just fine. Was it just because of the pigmen? Like, were they too loud? I would be unsurprised if that was the case. Oh, I see. Best, best to have context for that kind of stuff when you're talking to a live stream. Mr. Samuel, thank you. Appreciate that. It, like, it's one of those things where it was so loud that I couldn't hear myself, you know, like in my own ears. It's just, it's, it's very, because I don't have the game sound ducked for me. I have it ducked for the stream. So I hear the game at, at full volume, mostly so I don't get blown up by creepers. But that, I, w I would say that's the reason. But the last couple of streams, I've had a number of creepers sneak up on me. So maybe I'm just not paying attention. Well, that's a big... Big magma cube. You. Right, so now we just have to go through the modern city portal. And I know I have an overflow chest system and it's okay, but I feel like I'd like to have some sort of like, I feel like our input system at the, the bank in the modern city is what I want to look at because I know we're going to be putting in more than just a few more than just a few items at a time but uh modern city I've had the itch to play here recently 
Maybe when we finish the modern, the uh, medieval town, we'll come back and do more here. All right, so this is the storage system. And as you can see, it's the same idea. It's got chalkers in the floor and it's got three chests. We've been pilfering it. And it's got, yeah, the, wa the water goes right on top of the, um, the hoppers behind. So here I didn't do any kind of alignment stuff. I just straight up did, um, did items. And you can see there's actually items flowing through it now. But the input is actually, do I have space to go back here? Yes. So the input is actually back here. Uh, so these are the storage modules, exact same as what I just showed you. So one, two, three, four, five with a light. We'd have to consider that as well. So what I'm going to do, I think, in the medieval area is all this glass and these trapdoors is going they're going to be honey blocks, and that will align the item up with like that edge. Um, but the inputs is the tricky thing. This is what I wanted to take a look at. So we've got a comparator and a repeater on four ticks. Observers facing into each other. And that goes into a dropper and a hopper on top of the drop. And I'm pretty sure in these in these um concrete powder blocks are hopper minecarts. Because if we we put stuff in our manual um we put stuff in our manual deposit i think it just comes up here yeah the manual yeah the manual deposit just comes up there oh no it was over here right and that goes into that kind of a system. That's bizarre too. Oh, that's a shulker unloader. Wow, I'd have to take a real close look at that to do that. I don't think I want to put a shulker unloader in the system. We want we might want to make room for it, but I think we should be okay with just a couple of these. So I'm going to take a screenshot of that so I know what's up. That's the same thing. Then the shulker unloader. These are like four of these. Yeah, the shulker unloader I'd have to take a much closer look at before I stream. Someday. Yeah, like the way that this works is that each shulker box is essentially full of whatever's above it, you know, depending on where it is. Or grass. What I don't like, though, is this. Like, I want each chest on the bottom to be full, you know? That's why I want to change the design a little bit. Do I have a way through this way? I think I do. Doop -doop -doop. A weird one. What's in there? Interesting. Concrete maker. Okay. I think we're good. I also like the um, super smelter here. Got water fed. Uh, smelting stuff. Very cool. Alright, so I think this is what I want. We've got... I think this is the right height. So... This is the low ceiling. We're going to have to make sure that the room that we're building in in the medieval area is this high, though. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
I don't think we have a seven high ceiling right now. We might. Um, we're going to have to dig down a little bit farther, though. Whoa, that's the outside. And this place is a zoo at nighttime. A lot of stuff. We'll just scoot over to the information center. Need to finish the back of this building. Run away. See? Like, look at all the stuff. Just crazy. Gotta go. And we'll sleep here so we don't have to deal with any bad guys. Um, bladed live wire, not a stupid question at all. Uh, we've got command blocks on the server. Um, so these little buttons activate a command block. See if I can dig it out here. See? And uh, all that does is just save the, the creators here on the server a little bit of time. Uh, and where did that go? Oh, it was in the lab. Uh, and allows us to travel, um, like 9,000 blocks in two different directions. So back where we just were, uh, is like the, like original area on the server. It's close to X1, Z1, for the lack of a better way to, to say it. But we're like at negative 9,000 in both directions. And so that's, um, just a fast way for people to go rather than traveling hundreds and hundreds of blocks in the nether. We just decided as a group that it would be cool to put uh, an overworld portal hub. Uh, eventually we're going to design something cool to go there. And the idea is that the Citadel was kind of an experiment when it started four years ago. And it turns out that everybody stuck around. So rather than resetting and doing something different every time, we thought, well, let's just teleport ourselves 10,000 blocks in a certain direction and build like all medieval all in one area and then let's go 10,000 blocks in a different direction and build like all modern city in that area and so it helps keep the server fresh and fun and if you want to change your build style you just go to a different area and set up shop and do whatever you want it's cool in that way all right I think we can just fly the rest of the way here. Pretty cool looking town. One of these days I'm going to have to extend my render distance so that when you're approaching it, the whole thing renders in it at the same time. Cool. The first time I've actually looked at this, this is starting to look really cool through here. Like all of this is now filled in. Nice. Boom, we have another building. Thanks for the lurk, Kathy. Appreciate it. Glad you're here. So what did I say? Seven blocks? Maybe we do have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The only reason we might want to go down deeper is because of uh, the... Um, The staircase. You might want to have the staircase wrap around in, in the right spot. All right, so all that has to be farther out from the wall. Uh, we're probably going to be putting it along the back wall. So let's um, do a test again here. The floor is going to be this level. So whatever's going to be in here, we'll have to lay down the floor for sure. Um, I kind of want to just go down nine blocks just to 
that would give us enough room for four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We come down here. That's one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Yeah, I feel like it would be cool if we could do one, two, three. And maybe come out and wrap around. Then the staircase would come up like this, wrap around like that, and wrap around like this. Feel like we may want to go a little bit farther down. What do we give here? We've got one, two, three, one, two. That's one way we could do it. Get this down. Now that we know what we're doing. Bladed Livewire with 100 bits. Thank you so much, Bladed. Very much appreciate that. Very kind of you. Nico, hello. Good to see you back. So yeah, we'll do, um, let's grab more diorite just because that's easy to see, easy to work with right now. Plus, if we turn some of it into polish, then it means that we can store a little bit more. So let's say this is our, our ground floor. Are we going to want to go a little bit lower? This is going to be our slice of of storage system so we'll leave at least a block and then our stuff here is going to be redstone related i needed five right so it's one two three four five and the hopper And there's double chests in front of the hopper. Oops. And we need to take this down. We'll grab something. Do I have anything at all that's blue? Probably not. All right. Sand will be our version of water. So there would be a double chest here. Oops. And that would go down into a shulker box here.
Velcro box would go here. So this hopper would point into the chest and then the chest above that would actually be in this position. It would have a hopper going into it like that. Top chest here would be like this. Chop these down. Because this isn't really meant to be like storage for permanent storage. It's just meant to be like, you know, places where you're going to be able to find all the things you need to build with. So hopefully it's going to be constantly in flux. Like as people are putting stuff into it, hopefully it's going to be a place people can take stuff out of it too. But I'm just, I'm now just wondering, depending on how many modules we can fit in, I'm just wondering how, um, if we need to go with four chests or just if three per module is going to be enough. Right. So then up here we would have, um, it's going to be the filter hopper. So you just, for any situation like this, you just use like a temporary block. Point in your hopper. Right. And so on the filter block, that's where you put the comparator. Two blocks of redstone. And then that goes to here with a torch in that position. Have a repeater and a comparator. Repeater goes that way. Is anybody here new to storage systems? I'm assuming people have seen these a hundred times, but if you're brand new to it, let me know. I'd be happy to um, happy to fill you in. So this is not necessary, this block right here. I just use it to get up here easily. Uh, and we're going to need some filler items temporarily. I need to go back and get some stuff. Mm. Yeah, I forgot that the honey blocks make noises. I hope that they do a little bit with the sound design. Like, I'm hoping that some of the little surprises what, that we might get with the Caves and Cliffs update that they haven't really talked about. Is that in 117 this summer, I hope that some of the blocks that they're adding get like new noises or old blocks get new noises. Like they changed bone meal to have new noises and stuff like that. So I'm hoping we get a little bit of that as well. I should just bring some of these over. So we need wood. Stone and cut stone. Ah, uh, that might be good to have. Bring the terracotta. Definitely need the quartz. We're going to need to make some. Oh, inventory is full. Why are my two honey blocks different? Crash mat. Place around scaffolding. Oh, Alistair, that's annoying. All right, well, we're going to put those in the build because um, that's going to be a pain. All right, I think we're good. We just need to bring this. I have no room. How was that for flying? Alright, so this is going to be a honey block. Right there. Oops. And we would have to have some other kind of glass on the outside. Trapdoor. So this is what I was thinking with the trapdoor. I don't know if this is going to work at all, but 
we could put a trapdoor here. Just to try and hide it a little bit. I don't know if I'd want to put one here as well. Can't open the shulker, but you can access the box. Probably not a good idea there. I mean, really, we could end up hiding the whole thing if we wanted to. Uh, and then I guess we would have glass. Now, I, I think I've got my texture pack back on for glass. Like I do. So I changed my yellow glass to actually match the yellow things in the game, like the honey blocks. As close as you can. It's probably better matching uh, terracotta and whatnot. But we could at least put the glass like along here. Uh, trying to place stuff while holding shift on scaffolding is not great. Stuff out of here. So this is what we'd end up seeing as far as the waterway goes. It doesn't feel like a lot of storage, does it? I think I might want to go with four chests tall. The nice thing is it gives us... I want to have two blocks up here on purpose. Because it makes accessing the waterway and stuff easier. So this is the... This is the minimum depth of the floor. It has to be at least this deep. Uh, if not one deeper. Seems too complicated. Um, no, it's it's actually pretty good. Like, so if I put down the anvil, show you, put you here, I guess. So if we take, um, per, what can we rename? I've got sticks here somewhere, I think. I use I usually use sticks because it makes life easier. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. So let's just say we call these filter sticks, right? And so what you do is you put in, in your filter hopper, you put in your filter sticks, and then you put in a stack of whatever else you want that's going to go in there. So for example, if we wanted this to fill up with stone, you watch the redstone. When this has got more than 41 items in it, this will light up to here, which will power this repeater, which will unpower that torch and unlock that hopper. Like right now, if we put stuff in here, see how it stays there? Because this hopper is locked. If I put stuff in there, nothing's happening. That hopper cannot put anything into that chest because this torch is powering this block and locking this hopper. Um, this is an old impulse SV design. And so if we put a whole stack in here see how it's all it's all lit up now see how the torch is off and you watch when the torch is lit back up again there'll be 41 items left in the hopper see torch is lit back up hopper is locked again you usually have one in here that's usually the price 41 so now it stops at 41 and so what that means is as items are flowing along here in the water stream only stone can go into this and it can take what what is that 30, 23 items at a time so if you have more than 23 stone coming in they're not going to fit into the filter that's the only drawback you kind of have to have like two filters if you're having a lot of items uh, or you can um, change the speed at which you do your inputs so you can the slower your your items are coming along, then the better it'll look it'll filter. As long as that's not receiving more than 23 items at a time, then we should be good. Does that make sense? We I have a world where I've saved the poisonous potatoes from my villager farm and use them for item filters. 
Filtators? That's amazing, Elkhorn. I love that. That's so good. What a great use for the poisonous potatoes. That's so cool. So what do we think? Like, do we think... I mean, we've seen the storage at the barn. Is this big enough? Like, do we want... I think I only had three chests at the, the other place. I mean, alternatively, it was just going to be lower, right? Like, we would just be down here looking up at it. So the view is really not going to change much. The only thing that will change, of course, is that we'd have to do something else with this. So this kind of has to start here, I think, in order for this to work. So if we go down lower, we'll end up with the, the chest going the other way. So for example, if we, we wanted to put the shulker box here, like if this was the target for the box, this would end up facing the other way. Oops. Have a hopper go that way. Uh, it wouldn't be too hard. It's just an extra. Well, we and see the thing is we can't have we can't have a hopper go underneath that hopper because it will like if we did this, then items in here are going to end up in here. They're not going to go into the chest, right? Because They'll pull before they'll push. So we can't do that. So by adding an extra layer, we definitely complicate the system. And I can't think of another way to do this without having something really hard to deal with. I think it's probably a no. And it's probably going to be better to have the shulker box here. I mean, that gives us three and a half chests of storage. And if you want more, we can just have multiple modules per item, right? You know, like three boxes of stone or whatever. Probably the best way to go. Yeah, I could add two layers, but then I'm just into a giant storage system. Like, do I need, do I need that much? And the other thing too, is that if we had two layers, we'd go down by two blocks. And then this is what we're looking at. And I don't, I, I want to be able to see the honey blocks. And I think I prefer that view over this view, right? So if you think about this, like looking, don't, don't look at those. Look, look at just this slice here and it looks better if you're at least this high, but I prefer, prefer this. We could just have, we could have the floor be down here, right? That's the other decision. We could leave the shulker box as it is, but have it, instead of having it be in the floor, have it be like in front of the hopper. Because then we don't see that hopper that much. I mean, that's a decision we can make later. That's not the end of the world. Um, I would want to do it before I change the beacon. 
At any rate, we have to take out this layer of, of stuff that we're standing on. That's going to happen now, so time to put some stuff away and, and dig out some things. Um, and a site. Quartz box needs to go down somewhere. Uh, probably there, I guess. I say we're like, we're running out of room already. I need to dye this not gray. This is going to be confusing me the whole time. I don't have any yellow dye. Okay. I'll have to figure that out later. Glass wasn't here. Chests. Filter stick we might as well leave around. Thought I brought the coarse dirt. Maybe I didn't. Okay, uh, as I often do, it is about time to take a break. Uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour. I just give myself a stretch, you know, refresh my coffee, that kind of thing. You should too. It's Saturday, grab a snack. And when we come back, we will uh, finish digging out the floor and try to plan out where we want the, uh, the storage modules to be. Uh, I might not spend the entire stream on this build, but I want to get a good, a good chunk of it done. But yeah. Uh, give me about five or six minutes and I will be right back.
All right, uh, we're okay for sleep. I hear a spider nearby. Oh, zombie. Do I get free gold? Get a carrot. That's fine. I'm realizing that there's not a way uh, to get over to the other side over here. Like every time I walk through the city, I think about like different things that we need and I'm kind of wondering it doesn't make any sense to have a bridge here because it would defeat the purpose of this giant gate here protecting everything so I don't know what we're going to do just yet maybe we'll make something that looks like it could be retracted I don't know he's a fancy zombie yeah he was a fancy zombie you're right so I think what I'll do is uh, I'm going to dig down two blocks and then I'll replace the, the bottom part with um, with stone bricks, maybe. Just to kind of future proof it in case we do need to drop it down or do anything along those lines. I think that could be kind of cool. So um, inventory is empty. That's good. We'll just have to take all this out. Got a funny feeling that um, it's just going to be easier to just completely remove everything and then place it. I don't think I want to leave it as smooth stone. I think, I, I think I'd want to leave it as stone brick. Leave that in as a sample. I think that makes sense like so we know that we're gonna drop the bottom part maybe i'll just do one layer for now feeling indecisive need some torches here I don't know if I, what I want to stand on, my my main issue. So I think we'll just take down two layers. Plus, hey, extra coal, can't complain. That's two layers there. Don't know what that does to our staircase, though. What I should do is make these proper stairs, at least for now. Where are my stairs?
Hopefully that works for now. Like that. This. Done. Cool. Plus one from Stephen for the stairs. Nice. Yeah, that's fair. Fair the stair. Uh, Jex Edox. What are we doing today? We are underneath the keep. We've got this giant, this giant keep that's up here. And we're building some player storage so that we can actually have a place to store all the dirt and the stone and all the things that we've been moving around in like a little shulker box chest monster island the last little while. And uh, I just, I'm feeling like I need, I need some places to dump certain things. Getting lots of gravel, which is great. I might actually just see how far this goes. done there. More iron. Nice. It's so funny how you find all this kind of stuff when you're not looking for it and you don't need it. You know, like, I really wanted iron on that snapshot playthrough two weeks ago, or a week and a half ago. Could not find iron for like the first two hours we played. And then, of course, the next time we played, I found it in the first 10 minutes, you know? And here, where we have absolutely no need for extra iron, I'm uncovering it all, all the time when I'm just, I'm not even mining, I'm just digging out a hole. Now it is very dark in here. Let's go back around into this. Oh, gee, die! That's fantastic. Thanks for being here for for so much content. It's amazing. still needs to go down. Anybody else do this where you just, you kind of just want to start with a clean slate, you know, just, even though it's probably going to be covered up, you just kind of want to smooth things over just in case you end up exposing something somewhere and want it to look okay. So our inventory is now full. I don't think we have room. I think we're going to have to temporarily put some stuff in chests is what I wanted to try to avoid doing, but I think we're at that point where it has to be done.
All the things. Yep. Yeah, I'm one of those people that just collects everything. I it just it saves you. It seems tedious at the time, but it saves you so much resource gathering. Like I'd much rather get stuck on stream needing stone and come to this room and just know that I've got tons and tons of it because I just didn't let it despawn, you know, like I didn't let it just kind of disappear. I'm not super worried about organization of this right now. We're just making room. A stray iron block. More iron. For anybody new, we have an iron farm on the server, so it is like it's not at all something we need, but I think we'll go around and patch up the walls. Most of the time I don't mind indecite. I'm just feeling like a bit of a completionist this morning. Oops. So far, so good. What is a better starter location in a in a mountain or in a you know a house? Um, it doesn't really matter. Like it. It all depends on what you want to do. Like, do you want to spend your time digging or do you want to spend your time building? I would argue that it's probably easier to build a house because you can regenerate trees or cut down trees, but you have to cut down trees to build stuff. And if you want to build in the mountain, then you have to dig out the mountain to build in the mountain. So I don't know. It's six and one half a dozen of the other. It's a matter of preference, really. Starting early in the game, there's really... The easiest way is to not do either. The, the best starting way is to go find a village and steal someone's house. You don't have to build anything. But if you don't find that fun, then that's not the best way to play it, right? So it's all... It's a subjective question. There is no right or wrong answer, right? All the coal. Oh, there's iron back there. A lot of iron back here. See you know what I mean? You're not looking for it. You find everything. Next corner done. Again, I'm leaving that there on purpose so that we know where the moat is. Oh, right. I had to fill that in, didn't I? Right, 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 right. Well, that's where we can put some of the stone. I think other than a few patches in the floor, I think we're good. Oops. 
I also tend to make wall, floor, ceiling fully pure stone, even though I'm going to change it later. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Like, I feel like I'm able to think clearer in terms of what I want to, to happen in the build. Um, but the tricky part here is going to be figuring out that staircase. I think that's going to be one of the major problems. But I think uh, the floor um, for this one is... I need that die right back. Like, would people think that this would be a good place to stand or up here? I think... I think here. I mean, either way, it gives us a decent, um, decent amount of room. Not that we're going to use that particular staircase that much, but might as well plan for it. So as I mentioned, I think that what we're going to do is out here in this area uh, where I'm standing right here, we'll probably have some sort of little alleyway. Like you see, I've kind of marked out what could be like a little street coming in, coming in through here. I don't know, uh, but I think this could be a kind of a fun little secret outside entrance. We have enough room here that we could probably do like a redstone door or something, which would be kind of fun, you know, press a button or something and then have it open up. Um, to get into the player storage, which would be kind of fun. I think if that's the case, we're probably going to have to have our input around here and then have the water stream go right to left that way. And it looks like if we pack it as close as we can, that this would be Kind of the situation where we could have like a little bit of room back here. I don't know if that feels a little bit too claustrophobic, but I mean, I don't want, I don't think I want these things to come out too much farther because like as if you enter the room, you're only like two or three blocks away from this. And that door doesn't have to be there. We could move that door too. But maybe the thing to do is to find the center of the room. That might be the best way to do this. Let's try that. How much do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's an even number. That's annoying. Twenty-six, which means. 13 is the middle. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3. Huh, iron right underneath my nose. site tire loop that's the middle that way and then this way got one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, also even, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, hey now, 
trying to do a stream here. Double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's middle. So we can do, I guess, same thing. I haven't had a, a block glitch like that in a long time. All right, so there's the center of the room. Surprise, surprise. So this isn't too far off. We could easily... I don't remember how I decided on that position. I think that might have been just like where it happened to be. It's probably the middle of this little green space, but we could probably mess around with that. Um, so yeah, I, I don't, um, I don't think I'd want, I don't think I'd want the, and this is just the middle of the space. It's not necessarily the middle of the design. We could have the middle of the design be anywhere we want. But I don't think I need any more room back here. Because whatever we do is probably going to end up having like modules. So that comes to here. As far as like shulker box. There's still enough room to run around here and get to the other side if we wanted to have stuff going. I don't think we want any kind of modules right here because how many blocks is this? One, two, three. Well, okay. This one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'd need nine, nine from the wall, which pushes us out quite a bit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we'd lose a ton of space. So we're not going to put anything facing inward. We're we're like we're not going to have them facing this way. Everything along this back wall is going to be facing us just like this section here. Uh we'll just have to figure out because of where the stairwell is upstairs, I think we'll have to have the bulk go along the side and then any kind of wrap around will go this way. So that means that we might have to lose some space over here. Nine, nine this way. Which is not great. I think we might just have the one section of, of bulk storage. Like that might be all we can do. That might be all we can do. All right, well, I think the thing to do then is gonna to be to move all my shulkers over here out of the way. And this will be kind of like our temporary setup. And uh, we'll go from there. On a scale of 1 to 10, how easy do you think this storage system is to build? If you're like brand new to any kind of auto storage. It's very simple, actually. Um, if you managed to catch the, um, the description about how it worked earlier, uh, if not, you can always just check out the VOD. Um, but uh, look up um, item sorters by Impulse SV, uh, and plus most people that do items uh, sorting tutorials use this. So they they don't necessarily claim to be 
the person that designed it, but they're like, look, this is how you build it. I'm struggling. I follow somebody new on YouTube or new to me. Their name starts with a C. It's like, is it Mr. Cat? It's cat something. It might be Mr. Cat. So maybe it doesn't start with a C, but there's a cat in their name. And um, I don't think they necessarily come up with the ideas that they that they do YouTube videos on, but they certainly give tight, easy to understand, short tutorials that are not all like crazy loud and hard to understand. Like it's very chill. It's very straightforward. Um, you can always pause the video and see what's going on. Hey, Primal Club. How's it going? Primal Cub. Sorry. Primal Cub. Tongue tied. I think it's Mr. Cat. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think so too. The way that they, the, the, the thing that I don't like about the Mr. Cat tutorials is that they, they don't explain how the redstone works all the time. They just kind of show you how to build it, which to me suggests that again, like they didn't come up with the, the system. Uh, Il Mango was really good, but Il Mango is also more complicated and doing things on a larger scale than most people. But it's unfortunate that this takes up so much room, uh, I find. We could save a block if I wanted to, um, but I just, I like the idea of having some space behind here. It's, it's, I don't like having cramped storage systems, but you can see how quickly you run out of room, you know, when you're doing this kind of stuff. But all right, let's remove all this stuff. And we'll figure out where we can put in our inputs. So we've got styrite, stone bricks. Travel. Oh, that's funny. Redstone. I can't put anything here. Grass and dirt. I'd like to try and figure out what that storage entrance is going to look like too, before we get too carried away. Uh, what was this rucksack? Let's do, I guess the bed can just go here for now. Okay, that'll do for now. So we need to figure out where the input is going to be. And it would be nice to not have to come all the way downstairs to do that. 
So if we did have some sort of thing here, what I need to do is figure out where another slice of this is going to be. So we'll, we'll pull up a little bit of these. Grab some more maybe. And we'll just use maybe a glass block or something easy to see. Bright green, why not? We'll just pretend that this is a shulker box. And we'd have to have the water turning a corner. And I would imagine it might be here might be the closest that we can get to one of these things. We need more hoppers, I guess. All that noise. Uh, hoppers. I might have used on my chest. Let's go get the other things. Looks like we have to sleep first. Oh, hey, uh, Delara. Yeah. Yeah, we're working underneath the keep. I need to go get some of those other shulker boxes. Let's just walk across the bridge. Yeah, so I, um, I've been feeling that I'm, I'm outgrowing the shulker box island I keep on moving around and so I want to have something a little bit more flexible uh dealing with like less boxes of dirt and all that kind of stuff and I think we're gonna have to use some uh gonna have to use some some of our dark oak here to to make some shulker boxes not shulker boxes um chests I feel bad. I feel like I should save the dark oak and maybe grow some spruce trees to make chests. That might be the better way to go. Probably the better way to go. This dark oak is way harder to get. And it was a gift from Cosmic, so I don't want to use it to make chests. I want to use it to make pretty things. Hey, Joel, love the podcast. I'm glad to finally get to see the town. Oh, that's very cool. Thanks very much for coming by. And uh, I'm glad that you listened to the Sponge Chunks. We have a lot of fun making it. I'm, I'm glad that you enjoy listening to it. Log box. I should move this. This wood. I'll put wood here. Dark oak or dirt. We'll do oak. Bruce. Dark oak. Or stir it, we can put back over here. Cobblestone. Bones. Tables and chairs we're probably not going to need very many of. That's fine. That stone slabs. Sure. Yeah, I think maybe um, spruce is going to be the way to go. Do some spruce growing. Grab some bone meal. Need some ender pearls. And we'll put you guys back in there.
There, are, there's something to be said too for like using shulker boxes as storage, because you can open them. I just find that's a better experience. But uh, I think that's all we need. Oh no, I'm gonna need some dirt because we don't want to get too high, or we don't want to turn. I want to turn the entire countryside into a uh, puzzle. Thanks, Shakespeare girl. Good to see you. Yeah, we've just been using this area here to farm trees. I think it was three high is what we needed to do. If I remember correctly. I don't know that many shulkers could exist in the same world. Oh man, I've got nothing. You should you should see Good Times with Scar on Hermitcraft. He has like our cub fan, he's got like six times as many shulkers as I do. It's just insane. Once you start getting them, it's a lot easier to move stuff around, I find, and just I use them as if they were chests. Just it's so much more convenient. I can't go back. I I really don't like filling chests up with stuff because it just ends up being um, stuff I have to move later by hand. It drives me crazy. We needed more spruce wood anyway for just builds in general. I think I might use trap chests for this build just because my trap chest texture is a little bit different. It's a, a little bit darker and I think that might suit the build better. Have you never used this uh, tree farming technique, Shepard? It's, um, I know people that, that like to use TNT farms and and I think technically TNT is faster but like I in terms of the time it takes you to build a TNT farm like you can just put down four saplings shoot an ender pearl the hard part here is just not hitting existing leaves you know oatmeal done like ready to grow the only thing that takes a little while is just the cutting it down part and that looks like my ender pearl got caught so sometimes when you're doing it all in the same spot, a little bit hard. If you really want it to be super efficient, you can you can do like several of them in a row. Like, I don't know, we should, next time I do this, we should time myself, you know? What am I using? I'm using a efficiency five, unbreaking three, mending axe. You don't have to, you barely have to move, right? You just, your your cursor just stays in that little crosshair in the middle of the four blocks. Just hold down the button. You can talk to chat while you do it. Pretty straightforward. There's a little bit of a trick to the timing, right? Like, I mean, you have to have, it's good to have the, the ender pearls and the bone meal on your hot bar, right? But like, this is, I'm not sure how long I've been doing this. We can go back and watch the VOD, but this is, Four stacks and change, you know, and plus we started off with 16 saplings. So as long as we end up with 16 saplings, it's a, it's a break even deal. It just becomes like, this is now harder to, to shoot the ender pearl up into, right? So you have to kind of like get in the middle and then shoot and then back up and then there we go. Tippy top. Looks like the tree stopped though. So this particular one, I think maybe three or four times in a row and then you might want to move to a different location.
usually make a staircase up the tree. Yeah, that's how I do the, the dark oak stuff. Although the trick to the dark oak farm is to build yourself a gully so that like you grow the dark oak down the bottom and then you come up top and then just like jump onto the top of the leaves and just mine down through the tree. That's usually the best way to do it. So we're getting down on the low saplings because we're not collecting all the leaves from every tree. I mean, I think I had 64 saplings in the chest. It's not like I'm worried. On the server, we've got more trees and saplings than we know what to do with. But even in this area, I've got enough. There's, a, there's more back in the barn, too. But like, this didn't take very long. I think I came out here... Less than 10 minutes ago. The thing to remember to do is to come up on this little staircase. Get yourself three blocks uh, blocks above the grass. Because otherwise all of this turns into um, podzel. If you don't want it to, then that's a pain in the butt. If you want podzel, that's great. But if you don't want podzel, then you're kind of kind of stuck. So we're back up to 11. I think I'm okay with that amount of wood for now. Get rid of this. Well, we just probably just stand here and get stuff. Of course, some of it is stuck on leaves. Hey, look, filter sticks. We can use these sticks in the storing system. 13. It's a fun little mini game, actually, trying to catch them. Whoa. Oh. 14. What? I got it. You'll be on your toes. Be like those YouTubers that can't sit still when they're talking. 16. Done. One Minecraft day worth of work. And I think we got six stacks. Do, 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 do. Uh, did we get six stacks? One, two, three, four, five, six, and a half. Not too shabby. That's my spruce. So spruce to me is the easiest, um, wood to, to farm. There's 64 chests, and we have iron somewhere. Oh. Can't go there. Quartz. Uh, did I put that back? I did. Let's just move you over. Let's just do hoppers. And I want that green glass back too. So pretending that the green glass is our shulker boxes, which is going to be the short uh, coming for this particular build, we can just put you there. That would mean that I have a double chest on top of you. Uh, and then hopper there. Double chest here. Hopper there. Scaffolding.
and then hopper there, and finally hopper there. I think that's right. Looks right. That is in... Yep, okay. So... And we would have honey blocks, which I... They're in the gray shelter box? Yeah. We'll use these ones first because Alistair renamed them. So the trick with the honey blocks is that you want the water to hit the wall of the honey first before it turns the corner. So any input that we have has to kind of like hit the honey block then go sideways. So right where the scaffolding is is probably where the waterway is going to be in terms of, of depth and stuff. So like there and then I don't know we'll use this for now I would love to have this so that it doesn't um that we can't hear it and we might be able to use the um the distance here to the back of the room as an advantage Right, so you're going to want the water to come in this way. The item's going to come in here. It's going to hit the honey block and be up against this side. Uh, and then it's going to blow up against the hopper. Just do it this way. Right, so the item comes in here and goes smack up against this and then starts to travel this way. So this is basically like the minimum, the minimum distance. Give ourselves a little bit of room here. And this is where the first module could start. I think we have to do the same sort of idea around the back. Uh, and maybe I don't really have a lot of room here at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so that eats into the stair. We really can't do much back here, can we? I don't know what we could use in this back wall. Storage systems baffle you? Um, what what is it that's baffling? I'll see if I can answer a question if I if I can. Hey, Cricket MC, good to see you back. Hope you're having a good Saturday. I don't think we need this beacon anymore. Uh, I think we're we're probably done with it. Let's grab a little bit of coarse dirt to fill in that hole up top. And I'll take the beacon out because I think it's in my way of visualizing what I need. Could I have more valuable things in the back wall? Yeah. The problem is like the back wall is just far away. I want more of the valuable stuff probably where all the shulker boxes are. In terms of like more valuable, I guess the other thing is that we could think about decorating it too. It doesn't have to be just like a functional build. We could just kind of have the back wall for some sort of cool decoration. Right, let's get rid of this. Should have taken it out before I ended the beacon. That's fine. Amateur mistake. Oh well. Uh, no, Cosmic. I missed Cricket's resub. Sorry about that, Cricket. Thanks very much for the resub with Prime for two months in a row. Thank you, Cosmic, for the... Uh, Quick reminder there. Appreciate that. And and Cricket again. Thank you so much. 
really appreciate the support. This weekend already has been phenomenal. You guys are just amazing. I, uh, I can't believe it, and I'm happy to get to stream more because of it. You know, I get to share more of the content with you folks and get to spend time on stream doing the storage system and stuff. A little bit different, something a little bit on the, uh, the technical side, but I've been in the mood to do something more technical. Can't say I'm in love with the Z fighting that happens with this texture um, thing. I don't know whether it's vanilla tweaks or whether it's my version of Optifine, but I'm going to have to, I think, remove that texture pack from my vanilla tweaks pack. It's too bad because connected iron looks much better than the non-connected iron. I wish polished diorite would do that too without a custom texture pack. I feel like polished stone should all have like a seamless texture and then like cut stone should have that that kind of look to it with the hard edge on it. Yeah, see the Z fighting on that's not 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 the best. Do, 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 do. Goes there, iron goes this way. That's right, actually. Um, there's a new episode of the Siddle Cafe out too. Published that earlier this week. Myself and Steven talked about the first three episodes of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And I'm trying to get myself, Steven, and Brockett together to do a round table on the final three episodes of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I shouldn't say final. It's the final three episodes of the season. I hope they bring it back for another season because it definitely deserves it. Unless they're going to do a movie. You never know. There could be like a, a Captain America and the Winter Soldier movie with uh, Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan, which I would be 100% on board for. They are fantastic. Um, but yes, Cosmic is correct. Night is falling and I should go take a break. So for folks that are new to the stream, uh, I take a short break once an hour. It's only about five or six minutes. We nestle ourselves in one of these houses in the market square. And uh, I go usually zap my coffee, might even make some more. You should refresh your snacks and I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
So I tried sleeping. Oh, there we go. The skeleton must have moved. We had company nearby outside. One thing about this bed is that often there are monsters nearby. Got you. Anybody else? Another fancy zombie. Big old pants. Bazoo Battlecaster and Rabelais is here chilling today. Thanks so much. Sorry to hear things are a little bit rough, Shakespeare girl, but but good on you for following through with the vaccine. Glad to hear that it's starting to, to get out to uh, younger folks as well. And Cosmic Dancer. I was trying to say thank you to Cosmic, Mr. Sheep. Cosmic Dancer. <laughs> sneaky but not so sneaky donation uh, of $100 on the break saying boop. Uh, boop indeed. Cosmic, thank you so much. I, I don't know what to say other than just thank you over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Uh, I really appreciate it. And and Ice300Q resubbed with Prime for two months in a row. One month away from a brand new Water Keystone badge. Really appreciate it, Ice. Good to see you. Glad you're sticking around. Fancy town equals fancy town zombies. Yeah, exactly. Did somebody ask a question about the storage system before I took a break? I feel like I, I missed out on something. I know someone asked me about The Boys. Have I seen the show The Boys? I started watching it. I think I got through maybe three episodes, maybe four. Um... I just found it too dark for me. It's a good show. I like what it's exploring. I just found it pretty macabre. And it wasn't what I wanted to watch early on in the pandemic, which is when I started it, like last spring. And I just haven't been able to get back into it. Dang Rice, did I see you pop into the Discord earlier today? I think I did. Um... So I think before I make any major decisions about where we're going to put everything, uh, I think the thing to do is going to be to sort out the staircase here, right? Uh, we should put the beacon back in here. We'll grab some stone and some just plain stone stairs, I think. Just for now. So I'd like to have this be... I think we're going to stick for now with the floor at the at the higher level. I feel like we could maybe use the under the floor for maybe some sort of item transportation if we needed to. Uh, so let's go with floor level being here. Right, so this is going to be our floor level. I might have dug down too far, but that's fine. Which means that we would want stairs to be here. And then these would be removed. It's also easier to build um, oh, no, those are wrong. Okay, it's easier to build without the beacon, because I find with beacons, I tend to, um, I tend to take away too much. All right, so this is probably going to be out farther. Which means that we could pull this back if we wanted to. That's the floor. So I feel like this is, that feels pretty good here. Take the 
this note. I don't think that needs to go down any deeper. I think maybe we'll take these out. I have to think about what kind of cool floor pattern we're going to do. I'd like to do maybe some basalt. I think it could be a good idea. I'm really on the fence about decorating this like a dungeon or decorating it like a um, like a wine cellar. If we do this, we're probably going to have to have this be across like this. Fill this in. Probably like this. And then this would also be out this way. I kind of like the idea of this being an open staircase here. So maybe we won't fill this in past here. Oh, that sucks you're having Wi-Fi trouble, Cosmic. Hopefully it gets sorted out soon. Yeah, so this is more than likely going to be enclosed. Right, so the experience of coming down here into the, the dungeon depths. Uh, I like the idea of this being open. Maybe we could put some sort of wood railing or something there this is all oh that's the floor that's annoying how hmm wasn't thinking when i dug out the ceiling height was i The only thing I can think of, um, yeah, I don't want this to be any higher. I'll have to come up with some sort of inventive way to hide that or design it into the build. But I like this being an open staircase here. And then back here, we'll just fill in the rest. So then we'll come up with some cool way to decorate decorate that so that it comes down into a cool open kind of area. Uh, that means all of this is going to be floor. I'm probably going to have to rip up all this again anyway. I just am trying to quickly plan out what it would look like. So that would be floor here. Remove. Yeah, so if that's going to be the... That's good. I mean, like, you come in, and that's your first shelter box full of stuff, like grass or dirt or whatever. It's either there or maybe even just one farther. Could be the point. That's the whole point of what I'm doing here is, is I'm trying to now think about, like, what's what's the player experience of 
running in the door. A door here, maybe not exactly here, but somewhere around here, and then having to come down a few steps, right, and then turn. I think that's pretty good. I wouldn't want this any farther to the right, you know, like we, it's either here, it could even be here would be fine. So we might have to sort that out. And then alternatively, same idea, when you come down the stairs from the keep, you're coming down here and then you're, you're facing all of the stuff, like you're just straight up into your storage system, you know? So good, good player experience, I think. Hey, Rito Strike, how's it going? And Joel Crispy, welcome on in. Good to see you. I'm to sleep, I think. Boop. So, um, I think that's good there. We can line these up side by side, but I think maybe the thing to do is going to be to look at our our build here and figure out um, how we want to perhaps have the ability to have extra bulk back here. I don't know what we would do. I don't know how we would do it. Well, you know, one thing we could do is if these things filled up, we could then have like a, a water system that would take extra and go straight to the back. So we could totally have like an overflow system which would be pretty cool. But I think someone was talking about specialized stuff. I think it was either Cricket or maybe uh, Dallara. Um, this is where we're going to put like our manual storage. It's going to be along there. We'll have bays for like shulker boxes and stuff. So for along here, let's grab uh, more. Again, we're not building with diorite. It's just easy to use and see the different divisions in the block. So if we have something there, Let's just say we have bays of five or six. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Here, one, two, three, four, five. And then color there. We might have to have six in the middle. Or maybe we do bays of four, starting with the middle. We also have to think about uh, the fact that if we wanted to wrap this around the other way, we'd have to leave ourselves four blocks, I think, between the wall and this particular thing. Although, if we look at the, maybe we should start measuring from the middle here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the last area. And then one, two, three, four. Okay, that works. So our last potential potential bay or potential storage unit would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. Now, what does that look like? Is that Yeah, we'd have to space these out a little bit better. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Right. So we need to do maybe six in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then we'd have five on this side, right? One, two, three, four, five. That's probably the easiest way to divide that up is to have five and then six and then five. And I would imagine it's probably going to be grass and dirt and stone. And I guess what we could do here 
start to plan out what we want to do. We're probably going to need two grass, two dirt. We'll need two stone for sure. And then diorite, granite, andesite. I think we'll need two. Maybe not. Probably not. But because of all the landscaping we do, it's probably going to be two dirt, two grass, and then something else. Maybe coarse dirt. And then along here, maybe we could do the woods. I mean, it would make sense to do the stone, I guess. Do stone. Stone brick. And then... Uh, andesite. Diorite. Granite. I don't know that we're going to need the granite, but we might as well. That does not leave us any room for wood. That's rough. Okay. Um, hmm. Take it easy, Rabelais. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. I think once this is done, it's going to make building in the area a whole lot better for you, knowing you have enough storage room. Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I think being able to dump in and having, you know, one, two, three. Uh, oh, that did the... I'll have to... We'll just pretend that that's grass. Uh, where's the coarse dirt? So dirt, grass, coarse dirt. I don't know about, I don't know about the granite. I feel like we might be better off with gravel. But that leaves those last four, but I don't know what we would put in them because I don't think, you know, I'd like to have some of the logs, but we don't need all the logs. I mean, it is a medieval area. We're probably just going to use, you know, oak, spruce, dark oak, that's three. Yes, acacia, but like we don't, we don't tend to use it. What else do we have a lot of? We don't really need to store cobble. A lot of this stuff we're going to end up just doing manually too. Skip birch? I would skip birch. Yeah, like I just, I don't tend to use it in this particular area. We've used it in roofs. Like we don't discount it. These would be probably the logs. So I guess we'll get those. Oak log, spruce log, dark oak log. There's five here. Right, so one, two, three. And then four, five, I guess we just have flexible. I'd love to have gravel in here somewhere, but I wish there was a way to do double filters. Like I wish you could bring in two things, you know, but you have to kind of do it separately.
we don't tend to have a lot of gravel on our on our person at any one time anyway. But I guess the woods would make sense. Um Yeah, I mean really, it's not meant to be huge. I guess maybe I'm just getting my head wrapped around it more than need be, but we'll have I guess we'll have birch. I'm just trying to think about what other things we, we use a lot of. It's like a lot we use a lot of planks, but they're all derivative of logs, right? So we don't have to store the planks. It's more efficient to store the logs. Yeah, I really can't think of anything else off the top of my head. Gravel is the only thing that I can think of. But I I would probably try to squeeze that in here somewhere. Like I might put gravel in here before I did coarse dirt. Sand, maybe? Sand and gravel, the end, just for now. Those might be the only two. We do get a lot of sand when we dredge up the rivers. So sand and gravel are probably our tail end on that. And we have a decent amount of gravel. So then here we do... And gravel. So it's kind of hard to see, but you can see dirt and grass, all the different stone types, and then the different wood types and sand and gravel. And I think that's it. Then it just kind of turns the corner and goes from there. Now the question is, if we start decorating this with like pillars and things, do we enough, have enough room to do those corner changes? Like if this was a pillar thing here. Yeah, the water would be right there. Unless we push it back a little bit. Yeah, I may not want water right there. We may want to put the water actually on that level. That might be the better way to go. Right there. Uh, because we have to figure out where the input's going to be. And the input, um, I think what we're going to do, I don't think the water will end up being here. I think the water is going to end up coming up back here and going around. In a loop, maybe? We'll have to figure that out because I'd like to be able to come in here and just dump stuff into like an out, an input chest somewhere. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter where. We could have it in the middle of the room. Like we could have the input be here. Just dump everything in there and have it all swoosh away. I guess at that point, it doesn't matter which way it goes, left or right. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Cries, no birch. <laughs> uh, not for me. Not Well, and I shouldn't say this. I don't dislike birch. I just don't particularly use it in this area that much, right? Is the idea to dump in straight into water? Uh, perhaps uh, mix screw gun. Fun username, by the way. Uh, yeah, so we've got, I've had other ideas where you can dump it right into water, but then eventually it's going to have to get slowed down because otherwise if you dump big stacks, it's going to overflow your hoppers, right? Like this only has the capacity for 23, so 46 items before it gets, you know, messed up. So... Yeah, I just, 
Hmm. What I'm thinking is that it's going to be taken somewhere back here into an item elevator, like a, a sand, something that's going to shoot it out a little bit better uh, at a slower pace. We could also just dig something down, right? And, and have it do something down below. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. It's one of those things where, like, we don't have any option other than these particular locations for the filters. So this kind of has to be where things go. And it doesn't matter if it comes in from the right or it comes in from the left. Um, it just matters. For me, it's more about, like, what's... We use a lot of stone and we use a lot of... We tend to have to dump a lot of dirt and gravel and stuff. Somebody's car alarm going off. Um, I kind of wonder if I should switch these to have all the stone and dirt down this side and have all the logs and stuff up here because as we need logs, it might be better to have these closer to here. I don't see us, us coming in this side, although it would be cool to have a secret ent entrance on both sides because we do have like this building right here and there's nothing to say that there couldn't be like a private back entrance that just kind of like goes goes in here, right? So, I don't know. Like, it's possible we could come in from this side too, at which point we could want the wood to be here. Um, with a long line like this, ultimately you're putting something farther away from the entrance than you want it to be. No matter which way you go. So yeah, the idea is that we've got... Um, I don't know. Stick in the middle? What do you mean stick in the middle? I don't understand. But that could be a good place to dump stuff. I'm okay with that. That idea. We could make it look like a fireplace, but have just like a place for us to dump things. We could stand on some pressure plates here and have the floor open up and just like boop, 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 drop stuff in and have that go down this way into a water elevator. That could take stuff along the back. And then the only problem up here is that we'd have to figure out how to loop that around. So if we need water, yeah, we'd have to have the water do this. Right? Items would have to go like bonk, bonk, and then bonk, and then along that way. It's possible, not impossible. What kind of dog do you have, uh, OG Dai? I was out at the park with uh, Ms. Snarky and her dog Tally yesterday. Tally likes to pick up sticks the size of trees. It's rather amusing because she's only a 40 pound Amstaff mix, but the sticks that she picks up are like between 10 and 15 pounds. Like it's just, they're monstrous. I have a farm dog. She works almost full time. That's amazing. I've seen some really cool training videos and stuff with farm dogs. They're super, super smart. Yeah, you know, the more I think about this, the more I like having a waterway in here. So we'll do that. Um, we could also have glass in the floor, maybe. I don't know. Like, I don't want it to make it look too modern. I'd like the idea of, of it being, um, being something that's, that's more of a, again, I want to try to decorate it. Like maybe it's like a, not a wine cellar, but more like a beer brewing basement. Like maybe that's what we'll have along the back is maybe some big vats and stuff. That could be kind of cool. They're fast as well. Yeah. Oh, look, you want to see fast. Tally is fast. She takes after a ball or a stick. Like she goes like snot. She's, she's super quick. Hey, that hockey boy. How's it going? 
We're trying to make some decisions. I'm not really, I haven't built anything in the last five minutes. I'm trying to figure out how to, um, dump our items. I guess this decision we can make later as to where things are going to go. Right now, I think maybe the input is more important as well as trying to come up with a cool floor design. And if we're thinking we want it to be like a honey mead, whatever, it might be cool to kind of come up with something uh, in maybe, isn't there like a glazed terracotta? Do I have a furnace? I do. Um, must be in here. It would be cool to do like a honeycomb or a honeycomb or honey block. I don't want the honey blocks to be in the floor because, of course, that would make it sticky. But if we were making some cool designs in the floor, I mean, that combined with like some spruce wood or something like that. I mean, you don't want the honey blocks there because they're going to cause some problems. But between that and the terracotta. I mean, we probably do more accent stuff than with this. I like the, the brown, so maybe that with like a spruce. Like that could look pretty cool in some places. All right, let's um, add more of those. Very dark over here. Yeah, I feel like we could do some fun kind of like wooden decoration, maybe more pillars and stuff. And um and stone. Imagine the stone is going to be the floor, right? Yeah, I like the idea of depositing in here. having it go out this way. That could be cool. And this is going to be or so we would have to bring it across I guess here. And then it would have to go up in the corner. We might just send it underneath the wall so that we can bring it up uh, in this position. Probably the best idea. All right, well, let's um, 
let's start thinking about how we're going to design this then. Uh, I've got a funny feeling because of what we've done elsewhere uh, in the town. Really what we should do is maybe go upstairs in the keep and take a look around. Uh, McScrewgun, you guys have a mini schnauzer. Oh, cool. I usually prefer larger dogs, but ta Tally is what I consider like a, a, a call. I joke around. She's a, she's a dog sized dog. So she, she's not small, but she's not big either. You know, we ran into some great Danes the other day at the park and they were like puppies. So they were super playful and super friendly, but my gosh, are they big? I mean, in a good way, but they are. When one of them bump, when one of the, the Great Danes comes up and kind of gives you that like friendly dog kind of like bump, they kind of like just walk into you and kind of like shoulder bump you. I had like, I had to change my stance and I'm a big dude. Like I'm, you know, I'm six one and the dog kind of goes boom. And I kind of had to take a step to the side. It was, uh, it was interesting. So let's go upstairs and take a look around the keep. I like what I did in the, in the main room in the ceiling in the keep. I like the rafters. I like this stuff. There's a lot of spruce, a bit of dark oak, some barrels. We could do some more chandeliers and stuff. That's oak and spruce stairs and stuff. Stripped spruce a lot of the way. Yeah, so we've got a lot of spruce in this build. I like what we did here. I'm kind of wondering if we can come up with some cool pattern for the floor down below. Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, it's not, not an even, even, or an odd number. Um. And that could work out to our advantage. But I feel like the floor is probably going to be mostly stone. And I would want to put the spruce and the oak kind of decisions in the walls. And... Put down this. Whoops. So if this is going to be something decorative, like say a wood You like that's okay. I feel like it might be a little bit too too far forward. Maybe we need to do a column here and then have like some other depth blocks here. Can everybody see okay? I feel like it's really dark in here. And we'll grab some bricks. So again, like this would probably be mostly stone bricks and stuff.
And then these will all be shulker boxes of various colors. And then this is going to be all chests. It's going to be all hoppers. And then we'll have more hoppers here. And more chests. Just temporarily looking at these for color. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt, but it could be really fun to do our trap chests because our trap chests have a different, different color, different texture. This is why I thought barrels would be kind of cool, but then we could only get half the storage. And of course, I have the option of doing trapdoor shenanigans as well. So potentially doing that to um, hide the, the hoppers and I guess technically we could do stuff like this across here but then you can't see the honey blocks which was the whole idea of at least being able to see them a little bit. I guess that's another thing we can do to save on storage is that these chests here if we didn't want to, I guess it doesn't really matter. Not saving on storage, just saving on best use. I have to move this distracting. Yeah, they do have a weird noise, don't they? don't mind that um it's a little bit see through everything back here but we can figure out a way to hopefully fix that have some sort of filler block or whatever but i'd like to be able to see the honey blocks and i don't know if we're going to be using yellow glass but we'll try orange and yellow see which one look, might look better That's too cool, Stark. I was actually thinking about doing a data pack like that myself. Like the yellow better. It's only going to look good in my texture pack though, because yellow glass in Minecraft is really ugly. And like it's almost green. It's really only going to look good with this glass pack. That's fine. So the trick here is going to be to not um, cover up the honey block, which means we're going to have to see the hoppers, which is fine. Again, this is one of those weird situations where it's, it's, I'm uniquely, I'm tr not, usually I'm not trying to hide redstone because I, I quite like the look of it, but 
in this case, it might be best to um, if I hide it. Uh, if we put a slab underneath all that stuff, what happens then? Slab or trapdoor? Does not matter. Um, So maybe the trick is to put stairs back there. Hides the hoppers. But you still see water. I mean, there's going to be blue water up there too, which is going to make things look a little bit strange. We can use these dividers to hide the, um, the transition points. That'll be cool. Hoppers don't really say medieval, no. I like the look of the trapdoor, but the problem, of course, is that they don't hide the hopper. Actually, that's got some cool depth to it. What about that? It's just a repeat of that texture. That's the only, the only thing, right? Try barrels. I mean, <laughs> weird to put barrels that are not holding anything in the storage system. Like we're just using them as decorative blocks, right? And kind of funky. We could just alternate, you know, like we could have in positions like this, we could do like. Barrel there. Uh, no, if that's a storage block, then the filter is not going to do what it's supposed to do, right? That can't, so that can't be there. Well, we could just, we could still do this in a way that's, um, a little bit cooler. We could just do this and then that, and then place that, and then give more room in our inventory. Doggy Wag and Gargosa King. Thanks very much for the follows. Appreciate it. Yeah, we can't use the um can't use the storage block up there because the hopper, I believe, would push into into the storage. That looks okay. I don't think I want to have anything like stairs in here. I right, put them back. Yeah, that to me just kind of looks kind of too good day one Minecraft. I really don't mind this, but I'm not really a big fan of the trapdoors up there. Hides even more of it.
feels like a lot of the same color. In a way, I guess it's good that we've not not gone with a trap chest. Cosmic says it's break time. And yes, I should probably give my old brain a bit of a break here. Uh, for those that are new to the channel, uh, I take a break once every hour. And it's about five or six minutes. And I'm going to go do that now. Well, we'll walk over to the, wow, mob infested town. Hold on. Gotcha. Didn't even see him as a camo skeleton. Fight. Nice. Yeah, I think I have to have a little think on on what we're gonna do for that design. It's coming along, it's getting there. And I think we can just put in the, the, the system and then decorate it afterwards. So give me about five or six minutes. I'll be right back.
Okay, now, let's see if we can figure this out. Welcome on in to anybody that's new. Appreciate the, the Saturday crowd. We are um, hopefully going to at least finish up the, the basics. of Even if we just have a temporary bulk sorting system I think we'll be okay so I I don't think I want to change anything to trap chests I think that might be just a waste of time um so what we'll do is build everything up 
along here. And I guess we'll just use some temporary blocks on the back here. Realizing I've done dug down too far, I think. Uh, and we'll have to kind of build this back up. And that's fine. Um, so let's maybe make a staircase here. For fun. Yeah, for now, we'll just use this as like temporary, temporary stuff. Uh, we will probably fill this in. Even though I know we just ripped it out. This means less stone we have to store away. I kind of wonder whether I should put it in stone brick for fun. That doesn't really matter. Well, I guess we don't have to fill this part in. Just this part. this open because we're gonna have to figure out how to do do that stuff probably gonna end up being some sort of like cool trench thing here We'll fill everything into here, get a temporary system up. That should help us with everything else, really. Uh, so then here. And I guess what we'll do for now is just straight up stone brick. We'll texture it later. What's my favorite technical project? Uh, I would say probably like a like a spawner farm, you know, like a, a bone meal farm or um, not that there's I wish that zombies were more useful because it it's just one more cool spawner farm that you could make. Yeah, I'd say I'd say spawner farms. Probably my favorite. Wow, it's dark. I need some more torches.
All right, so we will fill this in. Take that out. We'll do, maybe here we'll just have Never thought we could maybe turn like one of these into like a we could have like a dark room mob spawner or something here. That could be kind of cool. Less mobs spawning outside in in the in the area if there was like a a really heavy dark room in here that they could spawn in. That could be kind of fun. So we got that there. One, two, three, four, five. And then another one here, I think. And we're going to need Probably more yellow glass. Uh, can't see this going the whole length. Which means I need more yellow dye. Maybe not. I guess we'll probably put glass here. This might end up changing, but now. And I think I like the idea of having the water come around the back like that. And then hit whatever it's going to hit here. Honestly, this kind of stuff just makes it easy for us to troubleshoot later. In terms of being able to see where things are going, if anything screws up. Always nice to figure that out. Uh, this is going to need to be dug out, I think. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put just some stuff there just so that we remember this is the middle of the room. So jealous of the left-hand torch thingy my kids and I play Bedrock. Oh yeah, no, that's... I don't know how to live without it. I, I use it all the time for content creation because um, uh, on... Um, with Optifine, it actually sheds some light so that it's easier for people to see what's going on. I've got no idea what we're going to do in here for decoration, but... Leave that there for now. Uh, I have enough room so we can pick these up. So what blocks should we make the actual system out of? I'd imagine if we're going to make it look like it's medieval, we should probably build it as if it was made in the medieval style. So maybe like logs and planks and stuff. Oh, hi, friend. I need to dump some things. Another one. Yeah, it does take a bit to get used to. I was um, playing the snapshot on Thursday, and uh, I, I did find that it was hard to get used to not having Optifine. It was interesting. So that's not the best looking. We're going to have to do something about that. Uh, now, as far as the actual waterway is concerned, hands off.
Probably just use stone down here for now. I feel like this is not the best location for that. I can't imagine why we'd need to leave this, like why we'd want to fill this in or why we wouldn't want this filled in, but it feels like it's probably a good idea. At least this level. Haven't thought much about lighting. We'll have to bring it in from the ceiling, I guess. Right, so that is going to be waterway coming in there. We're probably. I think I'd like to use stripped spruce, maybe. To go underneath the, the water. So it's going to be hoppers most of the way. But uh, along here... Imagine that will probably look the best. Yep. And then we'll just uh, that around. And I guess the honey block, it's going to make the most sense to have. Oops. Need some more light back here. For these ones, it's probably going to be good to line them up with this, like that. And then this structure, we could, we could utilize some stuff here. So we've got, that's going to go there. Maybe this goes here. This is weird because it doesn't really matter. It's probably not going to be seen, but. I just it's a fun little design thing. If we do that and use that there, then we've got yeah, this is still a low floor. The one above me is where the torch would go. And then the torch needs to have a solid block above it. And then same thing here. The repeater goes in between these two. So we could do something like a lab. I actually don't mind that it's a little bit higher. It'd be a little bit more convenient if it was up a bit.
Yeah, the repeaters can go in there. Then we've got redstone would go on this block. This block back here would just be for looks, like for access. So there'd be like a access block there. Repeaters go there. So I think we just have to look and see what we can actually see from the front, which is probably next to nothing. More if we had those open. So that's why I want to build it so it looks good, is because potentially it's going to be something that could be seen. And I like the idea of maybe using script spruce in some places. So maybe we leave these like that and then use spruce along here. I feel like that's a weird I mean that has to be a full block no matter what right porch is there that goes like that that's like that I need to go back up and look at the keep and see what the rafters are like. I think it was just a combination of like barrels and stuff. Oh, you know, we've got some spruce and some, some stripped, sorry, oak and stripped spruce. I like the barrels. Maybe we can put barrels here. Yeah, that works. I feel like what I want to see is more stripped spruce back there, but we need to have the stairs there, otherwise you can't open the chest. Uh, ooh -ee, thanks very much. And um, Ursiks, is that how you say your name? Appreciate it. Uh, I think as cool as that looks from down here, I feel like for convenience sake, it's going to be easier to fill this level in. We have to figure out what the light block is going to be back here, too. I don't think we're going to need this. So let's put uh, another matching uh, pillar back here. Oh, there. All right, so then stairs. Ports the honey blocks. Got Bruce there. Another stair there. I did this with the um, the Vastin storage system. It was the first thing I built on Vastin when I played with those folks. Was I built the uh, storage system for them? And then back here, like we could just have, you know, like a single 
I mean, really, we can jump up here. It's not a big deal. So we can totally just have like a stair right there. But we could also do this. Now across the back here, there's going to be three, two more blocks. Uh, one of which has to be a whole block, I think. We're going to have to have here, there, here, there. So really that whole thing could be, could be, Solid blocks. All right, need some more. I think we will do solids, just so it's less light bouncing around and stuff. It looks cool as slabs, but you're just you're never gonna never gonna see it, and it might actually fill in a little bit more back here. Yeah, I think that might look better from the front. More brown is good. Um, I don't know what we'll do back here with the floor, if anything at all. Have the same thing here. So I think... Rotate the stairs. I'm not sure what you mean. Need to get these out of here. Time to put in some. Uh, time to put in some repeaters before we can't do that anymore. We'll design one of these at least. Uh, redstone, or not repeaters, comparators. We have to build some uh, quartz here. Nope. I want. Stone quartz and redstone torch. Right, so all of these will have comparators on them. Oops, that's a not a comparator. You have inside of it. There we go. And then these go into what I guess will be it really doesn't matter, so we could do stairs. We should do the repeaters first. Ugh. I need to move this stuff. So back here, what does the comparator do? Redstone noob here. Uh, yeah, uh, um, Rito Strike has it right. It puts out a signal based on what the number of uh, items is in the chest. So actually, if we go over here, you'll see. I believe 
Yeah, so you see 41. So if I get up here somehow. So you'll see, oh, come on. I was so close. Right, okay. 41 plus one, two, three, four. So there's 45 items in this in this filter or in this in this hopper um and you'll see that the signal strength coming out is a signal strength of two so if we wanted to get to three then you'll have to get more stuff in there and so if we put do i have more stone of course i don't have more stone basically if you put more stone in there go get a stack Right, so we have, oh, come on. I don't like how shift doesn't work on some blocks, like um, slime blocks and stuff, or uh, honey blocks. So 41, signal strength of two. Anything over 41, but it you can't have more than 64, one, two, three, four. So 68 at most, right, will give you a signal strength of three. So C3, this is now lit up. And because that's lit up, it's lighting that up, which is turning that off. And then when that turns off, it unlocks that hopper, allowing stuff to fly through into um, what's eventually, it's, they're all in the hopper here, right? And then that stays at 41. Because at 41, it's, sorry, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. At 45, it only puts out 2. So we're back to a signal strength of 2. Right? So it's that difference between 45 and 46 and above. And that's what triggers, that's what triggers this, this unlock. Does that make sense? Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm glad I explained that clearly. So all we're doing over here is is the same thing, but we're just tiling it along, right? And I'm all, and I'm trying to make it look good. So the repeaters go this way, and you can see there's the repeater there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, right? And then I can come up here, and I can put the um, an upside down stair here and here. I think this will work with upside down stairs. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it does. I don't see why it wouldn't. I think the back of a stair is considered like a full block from redstone perspective. But anyway, I just think this is going to look cool. That's all. Right. So move this. And I need some redstone dust. And torches. Oh, you made your way inside. This is why I don't AFK in here. Uh, this. So we need torches along one of these blocks. Did I make this in the wrong spot? Torches go along here. Right. Okay, so your torches go here. One, two, three, four, five. They're locking this log, and this log is what locks the hopper. All right, so see how they're all on? No, son of a gun. That was annoying. I wonder where they came from. So yeah, we'll have to consider all of that. 
and lighting up this place. That's all good. And then redstone dust goes in here. So the reason why uh, you want it to go to three and not four is because three goes to here, four would go to there. And that's why you, you have the, the sticks and the 41 is because it keeps it from between Bouncing between two and three and not four. If it goes to four, then it overflows. Um, and that was um, the original design for this only had two pieces of redstone dust, like one here and then one on the lower part. And the, by extending it by, by a block here, it, it changes it. I think it was Impulse that changed it as well. He came up with the, the first design. Um, what am I trying to do here? I need some sticks. Just to kind of see if this is going to work. And the reason why you name your, your filter item is because it keeps, you know you're not going to collect anything in the world called a filter stick and put it into the hoppers. So it saves you a lot of trouble. Uh, let's just do two, two stacks of dirt. So idea here, we've got filter stick and they stay locked got filter stick and they stay locked and then we can put in dirt and dirt and something is not right I wanted to test this wonder if it's yeah so it's bleeding over I should not be doing that But yeah, something with me, it might be the stair thing. Because the repeaters are not getting power. Me trying to make this look fancy might be a problem. Work there. Don't the hoppers need to point to the comparators? Nope. Nope, they do not. Oh, hi, Creeper. Thought I saw you. Uh, hmm. Why is this not working? I mean, I'm using stairs, and that could be... Maybe that's the issue. Like, I bet if I, if I chop this over, if I put in a full block... So that's the answer. You can't do fancy, right? See, it's working now. So stairs, even though it looks like the redstone would work, that could be just the texture pack. So these can't be these can't be stairs. They have to be they have to be full blocks, and that's fine. We'll just make these planks. Most people don't try to make redstone look that fancy, so we'll just do this. And 
and that should, yeah, that one's working now too. So what we should have now is um, dirt in both of these hoppers. Unless I forgot to hook up. Yeah, okay, so I don't have the hoppers hooked up for that one. So we'll need to do that. Get the rest of the hoppers. And something else I need to put in here is a garbage can. Be handy. Got the chests, just the hopper site. So all these are only put that there. I guess it doesn't matter because it's already facing the other way. Facing that way. All right, so that's that. Then we can do hoppers here. And chests. So if we test that again, and we put the dirt in, let's just do uh, too much stuff. Let's just go with uh, two stacks of dirt. So we'll go with just do 16 and 16. Nothing in the hoppers. So we should end up with I think 16 in each hopper. 16 in there, 16 in there. That's going to drain down. And then each one of those is going to get 16 in each hopper. 16? 16. Right? So that's a dirt filter. That means that any items that come across the top of those hoppers, as long as it's not more than uh, 26 at a time, the items will just come up here. We'll hit the honey blocks. Uh, we will have the honey blocks go along here, and the water will go across here, and they'll get sucked in. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm doing this in a fancy kind of decorative way because I've done this like three or four times before. And so I'm trying to push it and see what I can come up with in terms of ideas and whatnot. But yeah, that's the general idea. Uh, we need to... Does anybody know if... Um, because they're not a full block, I don't imagine if mobs could spawn on honey blocks, right? Like, that's probably not a thing that can happen. It was a fun joke from Alistair, but it's been renamed, so... You want to do the comparators and stuff before you put in the honey blocks. And you want the honey blocks to go all the way down. You don't have to use honey blocks. You could use um, slabs and, and chests and stuff, but honey blocks are just going to be fun for us from a, a decorative perspective. And then we can use... I need to go get more spruce. I need to fill in this hole before we give it a test. Yeah, so we'll wait on that one. No mobs don't spawn on honey blocks. Cool. Yeah, going into a, a redstone creative world is, is how I learned a lot of stuff too. I agree. All 
All right, let's put in a little bit of this. Don't know how that looks from the bottom. Maybe here we'll do one of those all over, all over logs. And I feel like this could just go straight through maybe. Have those? Yes. Again, not necessary. Just kind of like a fun little little thing to have. We'll have to figure out how we're gonna support that and make it look good. Okay. I don't know about the glass there. We might not we might not keep it. It might it might be okay to leave it there. We'll see. So maybe on here. We might end up doing something more like that. That is going that way. Uh, I normally align them with uh, pickles and have ice besides the hoppers and iron bars. Yeah, well, the problem with that is that we needed the extra. I wanted to have this zigzag pattern of chests, and I needed the extra item. I want the items to be flowing over top of the hoppers. You can do that as well with, like, a separate water line, but that just adds another block to the depth of it. And I was pretty tight on space. So I wanted to do that. I love the filter sticks. Might as well do that while we're here. So Filter sticks in that one. Filter sticks in that one. That's the thing about having this, being able to climb up here is because it just means accessing these hoppers is just super easy. Uh, and then what did we say we were going to do? Dirt, dirt, grass, grass, coarse dirt. So we need just one of each. Maybe I'll do gravel there. Coarse dirt, grass. Right, so dirt, dirt, we've got grass, grass, and then horse dirt. That's the filters in, right? So that'll now disperse the way that we want it to, which means we can... Where's my shovel? Did I lose my shovel? Maybe I put it in chest by accident? Did do that a lot, so that means we can grab things like uh, the grass box when I have room in my inventory. And we can stick that under dirt, dirt, grass, grab our dirt and dirt boxes I mean this is these are mine right now but they could be anybody's and then dirt there some of these are empty there's an empty one oh that was full of stuff We'll probably maybe put that there and it's empty too now we may not want to have shulker boxes there for each one maybe we only need one shulker you know that could be that could be a thing at which point what you could do is um you could point that hopper into that hopper and just have both fill the one shulker 
it's it's still only going to be going as fast as the hopper can go um but if we don't need to have more than one choker then that's fine but that's essentially the the design right so it means like if you're coming in here and you know you need dirt i mean yes it's faster to just fill your inventory up and put it in the shulker box but if you come in here with an empty shulker box like the idea being that you could kind of come in here and be just like this is empty right i want dirt take this put back an empty one that fills up with dirt and then you've got this to just take with you right so it's not about waiting for it to fill up it's about having it fill up while you're out building doing stuff right oh i think that's a good a good way to go uh i do not have any more time today so that is the end of the stream uh, but i think we made a lot of progress it took a little bit to sort it out in terms of measuring it's always good to measure twice and cut once you know so uh, no one wants to build these things over and over again right so we've got this kind of design so far i'd like to try to fit in a little bit more color if i can we'll see um, but yeah, let's pass you all on to somebody else playing Minecraft. I'm sure there's a, a number of people here on a Saturday that are enjoying it. Um, but this is going to be the player storage for this medieval town, which I feel like we didn't spend any time looking around in today. Um, but if you've enjoyed this, then, uh, maybe leave a, uh, a follow here on the channel before you take off. Follow me on Twitter at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. Uh, you can also check out the Spun Chunks podcast as well as the Sizzle Cafe podcast. They're both free. One's about Minecraft, the other is about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. And last but not least, I will point you towards Patreon, which is where you can go to support the stream. If you haven't already, like the fantastic folks here in the channel, like uh, Ice300Q, Cosmic Dancer, uh, we've got um, Lated Livewire made a, a bit donation as well. Um, Cosmic made a bit donation. To everybody today that's been uh, helping out uh, on the channel, I truly appreciate it. I hope you all realize just how much. And uh, have a fantastic Saturday, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey, let's raid Slice Slime. If you don't know who Slice Slime is, he's one of the Minecraft developers, and he's a fantastic dude. I'm sure you will enjoy. Everybody pile in, be kind, and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Bye for now.